Right, this is a lecture on a Gaussian elimination, <clears throat> and we'll just be doing a, it's a three by three example. We'll be doing because there's not enough time to do a four by four, really. Right, first off, the method. Right now, if you're given a set of equations to solve, such as here, here we've got a uh, four variables x, y, z, w, with four uh, constants in front of them, di all, uh, all different, and this is equaling in an, another constant, which I'm calling b here, and again we've got the same here, different constants equaling c, different constants equaling d, different constants equaling e, but they're all using the same variables x, y, z, w. And to solve these, so we get different values for x, y, z, and w, we're going to put them in the form here, sorry about Norton, uh, a0, a1, a2, a3, so all the constants in the order of x, y, z, w, so we pretend these columns are x, y, z, and w, and then we have a line, and then we have our values here at the very end. So these have no uh, variables. And you can see we've gone a4, a8, and I think that makes sense. And what we want to do after we've set it out in this form is we want to multiply or divide lines by values. Uh, we can also add and subtract different lines to each other. And we can also swap lines. So if a line's in the second place, we can put it in the first place. And we want to do this so that we get th these values here in the form here. So it's the identity matrix. So we just want ones going in diagonals and zeros everywhere else. And then our values here will be our values for x, y, z, and w. So because this was our x column, we've got one x, so it's x is f. This is our y, so we've got y is g, z is h, w is i. And that's how you solve them. Now I've got an ex example, now they're very long. Oh, I haven't put animation in this, never mind. So we want to use the Gaussian elimination to solve 10x plus 2y minus z equals 7, x plus 8y plus 3z equals minus 4, minus 2x minus y plus 10z equals 9, and like we have before, we put it in the form of this table here. So uh, we have 10, 2, minus 1, and then our values down the side, 7, minus 4, 9. And we put the line just to separate so we don't get confused. Right. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, because we want to get a 1 here, We've got a 1 here, so we can swap the rows. We just get the second one and put it in the first position. So now we have our 1. So we've got that one done. Next job is to get this to equal a 0 here. Uh, we solve them starting here and going like that. So we'll get this 1, then 0, 0. Uh, the next 1, then the zeros. Then the last 1, then the zeros. So now we want a 0 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract using this row that we found subtract 10 of this row from this row. So if we subtract 10 of that, then we'll get a 0 here, get a minus 78 here, because we're subtracting 80 from 2, minus 31 there, and a 47. So we've got this one complete. Next job is to get this to equal a 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 2 of this row. So if we add 2 of this row to this row, we'll get a 0 here, because uh, minus 2 plus 2 times 1 is 0. We do exactly the same here, so we have minus 1 plus 2 times 8, which is 15, and then we get 16 and 1. So that is our first column done. Next column, Remember we need to get the identity, so we want to make this equal to a 1 here. So what we can do is we can divide by minus 78 on everything on that row. Then we can multiply and divide by anything we like, it doesn't make a difference. So if we divide by minus 78, we'll get 1, 31 over 78, and minus 47 over 78. It's a bit messy, but it will work out. You'll need a calculator. Next job, we want to get one of these to equal to zero. We'll do the top one first. We want this eight to turn into a zero. So we're gonna subtract eight of this row. So if we multiply uh, one times eight, we'll subtract from that, give us zero. If we subtract, uh, multiply 31 over 78 by eight, and then Get, uh, subtract that from 3, we'll get minus 7 over 39, 
and the last one's 32 over 39 because we're subtracting so we'll add this. Next job, make this equal a 0 so we want to subtract 15 of this line. You do need the calculator, it's kind of essential. And this will give you nice numbers. So if we subtract 15 of this line from here, you'll get 0 here, you'll get 20, 261 over 26, and 261 over 26 is exactly the same. Right, the next job is going to be to make this value here, the 26, 261 over 26, equal 1, so we're getting our identity. So we always start with the 1 and we finish with the zeros on the columns. So if we um, multiply by 26 and divide by 261, that will give us 1. Where are we? Here. And also give us 1 here because we're doing exactly the same because it's the same number. So we've, uh, our next job is to make this equal 0. Yes, yeah, so this equals 0. So we, because, oh, I've missed out a step, but never mind. Uh, th we've got our 1 here and 1 here, so if we subtract 31 over 78 of this row, that'll be a 0, and then we have to subtract 31 over 78 from here, and that is luckily uh, minus 1. Yeah, if we subtract 31 78 times of 1. Then we've got the very top one, if we add 739ths of this value, it'll give us 0 here, and it will also give us 1 here. So we've got our values here of x is 1, y is minus 1, and z is 1. Now, this, this is just a quick aside. This method is actually very useful if you want to find an inverse of a matrix. So if we're given a matrix here, so a, b, c, d, e, f, la, 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 then if we put this in the form here, this is our new form, so instead of just one, one column, we're going to have the identity here, and then our matrix here. If we now solve this, for, so we get 1, 1, 1, we get our identity, so we solve it using the Gaussian method, then whatever matrix is left here is going to be the inverse matrix. So that's very useful. So therefore, if you multiply this matrix by this matrix you've generated by getting it into the form 111000. Uh, if you multiply this times this, it will equal the identity matrix. So you've got the inverse. I hope that made sense.